Bro, I've so I've never done like a hard drugs. I've never done coke or nothing. Nah, you done tooted a line. Never. Not you once. ain't never tooted a line. Nah, I would tell you, I don't give a fuck. But you from that era, bro. Listen, buddy, never in my life. My whole family's dope fiends. I've been bro, scared of drugs my whole life. Bro, you from AZ. Trust me. I've, That's I've, where that shit come. And meth and all that. Yeah. Arizona's like the meth capital, fat and all that. Anyway. Nah, now, Fetty. Fetty, Fetty Rock, for sure. Fetty and AZ's crazy. Listen, they smoke it out there. Fuck popping it. And nigga, they smoking Fetty. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, fuck it. We're just going to let it ride. It's crazy if you, you know never, you, never. you popped the molly. No. E-pill. I've never. I've only smoked weed and done shrooms. Never. Sir. Never. I swear to God. Bro, when I tell you my family are drug addicts in and out of prison my whole life. How you, how you, all right, listen. How you avoid all that but, but tamper with shrooms? I barely started tampering with shrooms like two years ago. All right, but who put you on? One of the homies? Joe Rogan, man. Joe Rogan. Watching the Joe Rogan podcast. All he does is talk about how his life changed. Mike Tyson's podcast. Mike Tyson started doing psychedelics, changed his life. For real? Yeah. Mike Tyson be smoking the toad, though. What's that? DMT. I don't know nothing about it. I'm asleep. So Mike Tyson. I'm asleep. What's that? So Mike Tyson, his whole life changed when he started smoking DMT. Like, you know how, like, Tyson is, like, real well-measured now? He's, like, really, like, spiritually whole. Nah, most definitely. Um, so DMT is uh, the chemical that your body produces. It's this, what the fuck is the name of this gland? When, you, when you're born and when you die, your body produces a chemical called DMT. There's a frog that sweats natural DMT. It's located in Arizona, actually, and in Costa Rica. And people will sweat the frog out, and then they'll freebase the sweat. It, you, you do it with a crack pipe, so it's real crack headish. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga smoking frog sweat. <laughs> so if you ever hear if you ever hear Mike Tyson talking about no, so if you ever hear Mike Tyson talking about uh, smoking, what you, what you do like put a nug of weed in there with the frog and just no rub a nug of weed on it. Nah, you just fucking it like dries up and it gets hard, and then you fucking smoke it. That's crazy. DM no, it's DMT. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be amazing. I, I'm gonna try it one day. All right, but you've been tweaking on the podcast and then you like let me fuck around with some shrooms and you tamper with them and that shit was just enlightened. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Dope. Yeah, no, I never did no coke. Side effects? Nah, I mean, I mean, you gonna have a, it depends on how much you eat. You might have a, a interesting night, but outside of that, you gonna wake up the next day and be all right. Dope. But nah. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. You know, when I was a kid, I found crack in my dad's drawer. That was rough. It was, it was around rough, the same. Huh? It was around the exact same time I was listening to Ghetto Dope by Master P, and I was like, "Shit." This that ghetto diss, the shit masterpiece. Me, 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 me. Me and my, <laughs> best, may, 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 may. Me and my best friend Ramses <laughs> found may, that may, shit. May. And we're hey, like. Shout out to Master P. Every time niggas ask me my favorite rappers, I never mention blood. But on the beat, I was one of the first niggas, bro, that I really. Me too. No with. limit, bro. Straight up. I had the fake No Limit chain. Straight up. I had all them, all them Amazing albums. I had the fake No Limit chain. <laughs> I could never afford No Limit clothing. It was always too expensive. Nigga watched all his movies. Man, <laughs> bout about it. He played in the NBA. Charlie, huh? Ghetto Dope's one of my fucking most important albums of my life. That orange fucking case. You remember it was orange? It was like orange. All the ca cases were plastic and colorful. Silk the Shocker. Oh, my mom, I went to the movie theater to see I Got the Hookup. I Got the Hookup was so fire. Crazy. So good. People Crazy. don't talk about that shit. That was a good ass movie. Yeah, he was in a man, Master P is a fucking legend. For sure. Him, uh, and then who was a uh, man? I remember when I was a kid, I used to fucking jerk off to that girl Mercedes uh, album cover. She had an album called Rear End. She was bent over on that bitch. You remember that album? That nigga said Mercedes. <laughs> you remember the no, the chick on No Limit? I remember the chick on No Limit. Hold on. No, thought, not Mia X. Not Mia not X. Not Mia X. That's who I was thinking of. Mia X. No, I got to show you because you're going to see Mia this. Mia X is kind of chubby. Yeah, she wasn't the one to jerk to for sure. <laughs> Unless you into the BB dubs. You know what I mean? Mia X looks like she'll whip up some fire, fire ass food though. Uh, uh, rear... Crazy. And no limit. 